as Gregor Samsa awoke one morning, he found himself transformed into a gigantic... What? Gregor Samsa, blah, 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 transformed into a gigantic... <laughs> Honest tradesman, sir. Do you have anything that needs sharpening? Knives, razors, utensils. Thank you very much, but not at the moment. Sorry. Sir. Mm -hmm. From the butcher to the sergeant. And I'm conscientious. I'm very sorry. Sir. A moment. I've lost my little friend, sir. I had him with me when I came in and now he's gone. He's probably just asleep somewhere and a, a bit of bread. Or in a moist ear. Uh. But you see, sir, I, I think he might be in your room. He'd like you. There's no one in here except me, honestly. But he's very small. You wouldn't notice him. If I could just take a look. Believe me, I'm completely alone. So, perhaps another time? Sorry. There's this man who wakes up one morning and turns into a That is it! work because of this rabble, so that's it. The party's over. I'm so sorry. How thoughtless. I'll stop it at once. Fine. Oh, is this a real conversation or an imaginary one? Imaginary, of course. Oh, thank goodness. It's a wonderful party. <laughs> Mr. Kafka. 
Could I have a word? Of course, of course. Mr. Kafka has come to visit. Would you like a peach? <clears throat> now, what can we do for you, Mr. K? Like myself, Mr. K is of a frail disposition. A cross borne by many of the artistic persuasion. More music, girls. Let's show Mr. K there's more to life than books. What is this dance? It's the latest thing. They call it the kangaroo hop. much right to live as well. 